Hi, and welcome to Conversations on the Couch with our friends Michael Merck, Larry Merck, Aaron Lenz, Debbie Lines. It's great to see everyone. We have an incredible guest today here at FWDG, and we're really excited for you to present him. Longtime sir. friend Bob Gwynn is here, and Bob's going to tell us first how he got to Buford, a little bit about his history, and about the program that, that he does now that uh, I think he's only been doing for. 20, 30 years. So. <laughs> yeah, still the new kid on the block. Yeah, yeah. that's right. Yeah. Uh, well, uh, my wife and I moved down here to Beaufort many years ago because we wanted to be on the coast. We were originally from Knoxville, Tennessee. Mm -hmm. In Knoxville, my allergies were terrible. You know, people mow their grass three times a week up there. And they said, well, you know, maybe, maybe Beaufort would be nicer. So we moved here and eventually I wound up working for Clemson University. Uh, they, in the late 80s, got a grant from the Kellogg Foundation, and it was to help assist rural counties in South Carolina develop leadership programs to help put those people on boards, commissions, and run for political office. And uh, so I was working up in Jasper County, uh, running leadership programs up there. Well, here in Beaufort, the Chamber of Commerce had put together what they call the Senior Living Committee. Okay. And it was composed of several members of the local community. And they said, wow, we've got all this influx of this talent coming into Beaufort. Mm -hmm. What can we do with it? And they said, well, let's, let's do a leadership program so we can get those individuals civically engaged. That was in 1993. Wow. They called up Clemson University and said, can you give us some help putting a leadership program together? And so I got the call. <laughs> I got what the did call. you actually do with Clemson? I was hired to do leadership programs. Literally hired yes. to come down from Tennessee? Did you? No, no, no. I was already you here. You were here. What were here. you doing here what initially doing? when you moved here? Uh, I was rebuilding a house. Oh. Mm. My okay. wife worked. We bought an old house. And, and I literally took it apart and put it back together for about two years. Oh my God. <laughs> so this leadership program has been going on now for how many years? This will be our 31st year. Wow. Daddy. And I want you to know I was president of the chamber at the year that it um, it kicked off. So it that was a big, exciting thing. Our mother was involved in the mm -hmm. early planning along with a couple of marges. Yeah, there. yeah, several marges. <laughs> what does the program look like? What, right. what are some of the things that you all do? Well, you know, our, our main goal is to try to help people become civically engaged. Okay. Mm -hmm. So it's a, a survey course. So we have mm -hmm. about 12 sessions. That each session is a day long. We always met on Wednesday for okay. 31 years now. What, like, what are the sessions? Give us let, examples. Let, may I go through them? Is it okay? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. I would love that. So, so in January, we're going to be looking at history, okay. heritage, culture, and government. February, we're going to be looking at education, mm -hmm. the arts, health and human services, and economic development. Nice. In March, we'll be looking at public safety, law enforcement, the environment, military, military ties in history, and then April, we'll have graduation. I love and, that. So and, and so during those sessions, you know, a day session, we may have 12 or 15 speakers. So in total, wow. sometimes we, we have as many as between 100 and 120 speakers. Do you What's remember the class class sorry, go ahead. size of the group that 25. comes through? Oh, 25. 25. Okay. We can only hold 25. And if I because, commit to that, mm -hmm. is it something that I need to commit to? If I commit to doing the program, mm -hmm. I need to commit yep, to you doing need the to program. show up every we, week. We, we would like for people to attend at least eighty percent of the sessions mm -hmm. to get a diploma. Understand? Mm -hmm. Yes. I mean, I think just to learn the history, we think we know history, but do we really? Is pretty interesting. There's always more to learn. There's always oh, more yeah. to learn. Mm -hmm. We've had yeah. people that were born and raised here, and they've come to the class and they said, "Well." I didn't know a lot of what Joel presented. Right. Just because they don't have that association with those experts. In our last 20 seconds or so, mm -hmm. um, if people are interested in participating in the class, how do they do that? Well, we have a website. Okay. Uh, they can go to Beaufort Senior Leadership and uh, they can read all about uh, the course that we offer. It also has a very small application we ask for people. <laughs> Storm. address telephone number and email and we ask you to fill out those and send a check in you always had the best guests this is curly stay with us more to come here on conversations on the couch <laughs>